I basically found out that I had a brain tumor on January the 5th of 2012. Uh, Clayton had a seizure, um, presented to a um, facility out in uh, Nashville, was found to have a tumor in the right insula, uh, which is an area that's surrounded by some very important blood vessels. Uh, my first initial prognosis was that Mr. Poole uh, unfortunately, there's not really much we can do besides get a scan and just keep a really close eye on it. Those tumors in the past had, for many people, been deemed inoperable because of the higher risk of causing either a stroke or damage to some of the deeper structures in the brain. Clayton then came to us as a second opinion for this tumor. Um, we felt that he would be the ideal candidate for the intraoperative MRI. Due to this new technology of the IMRI, they were able to actually go in and scan after they initially had thought they had got it at the first time. Um, once they did scan it, they had only gotten 52% of it. That's why this is a, a case that is ideal for the IMRI because we can immediately know how much tumor we've taken out. We can uh, resect tumor, stop, get an assessment of where, we are, where we're at, have we done uh, how much more do we need to take out, where do we need to take out tumor um, uh, because it's always better to take out less and then continue operating rather than take out too much and risk a, a neurological injury. We actually went back in three separate times um, and it was such a great uh, sound to hear Dr. Klimo and Dr. Uh, Michael basically call into the waiting room and to tell my fiance and my mother that they had gotten 100% of it. The time that we spent that day was well worth it because we felt that we had a complete resection. Clayton's doing great. He suffered no neurological problems after surgery uh, and he has been seizure free. When we started looking at IMRI platforms and build outs, then IMRS was the the group that everybody said you should talk to. We're very grateful to Dr. Boop and his team for the recommendation to do this. They were really the, uh, the folks that advanced that cause and very grateful to Emerus and to the Visio Surgical Theater for what they were doing. They were incredibly professional to work with and installing it was a major event but really well worth it and they did a tremendously good job doing that. What we love about the theater is the fact that we have an interoperative MRI that slides back and forth into a garage so it gives us a great more utility in terms of the operating room and it still allows us to provide this exquisite sort of diagnostics in the intraoperative field and so it is a the Visius Surgical Theater is a very positive experience for us in just the design and the engineering of it. Before we had that our practice was to wake the children up after surgery, watch them overnight in the intensive care unit take them down to MRI, get a scan the next day to make sure we got all the tumor out, and if we left a piece behind them, bring them back and reoperate on them. So now by being able to do that all in one setting, it saves us having to do those reoperations. What we know from our year experience with it is that the uh, opportunity to have better diagnostics at the time of the surgery is clearly enhanced, and the ability to limit the amount of post-operative uh, intervention and uh, return to surgeries are clearly diminished and so it's all about the kids. The kids are better because of it. I think it's helped us get a more complete resection and then one advantage for the kids as I had mentioned is if they're able to go back to the floor after surgery they spend the night with their parents in a quiet room instead of in a ICU setting where they don't get any rest and things are, are noisy. So I, I think it's improved our parent satisfaction in those cases. The ability to have this kind of technology that both improves the level of care, reduces the amount of harm and interaction for children, and allows us to do the kind of research that we want to do into complex neurological problems in children is exactly the kind of mission that we're headed on. Having this type of tool in the, in the toolbox will allow, will allow a highly skilled surgeon to really get after that tumor and do it in a quick and very professional manner. So having that type of, uh, of tool in there is absolutely something that's imperative. The IMRI elevates our ability to resect that tumor to a, a level that I don't think you can achieve um, without it. Uh, I'm hoping that over time we'll be able to prove that more of these kids are curable than they were before with the use of this technology.
If I was to ever basically give any type of advice to like a hospital or a corporation that's interested of this type of technology, I say you're, uh, you're missing the boat if you don't have this type of technology. It's imperative. I mean, I can't imagine any type of hospital not having it. I think in the future we've got, we've got some exciting times ahead of us.